we have a map that, uh, on the next tab that shows you each of those, and then uh, the company page that lists the names of all of those. Uh, and I was telling the chairman that um, on Wednesday, just off the top of my head without looking at these, if you would ask me, I would say we had about 40. Uh, but uh, uh, 66 uh, items. And there was a, a question about what we have, uh, how many of these systems we have taken over. And um, I believe that the only system uh, that we have recently taken over is a laptop. And that um, maybe Foxborough was a community system a number of years ago. Um, so those are really the only ones we started out running uh, the Creekside system from the very beginning. So um, we have not had to uh, do any additional takeovers as a result of that. But it is something that, we, that the previous commission was concerned about as this moves forward is something that uh, the next director and I would be concerned about as far as we bring this information back to you. Any questions on those workers? I do. I, I just like to comment on them. This is one of those items that I, that I want to have some discussion on. I know that this can kind of get a little controversial because there are some, all of these are again private systems. These are all systems that somebody is operating basically in business and benefiting profit stamps and welfare. However, at the end of the day, if we've got the trust indenture, does the correct customer? If we have that, then we end up having to take these systems over <coughs> if there is a failure in them because they walk away from them. They're not going to spend a million and a half dollars on upgrading a water system. They're going to basically say, okay, county, it's yours. And if I understand right, then the county, the county has to take it over. So I want to at least start exploring, not necessarily taking these over, but I know that one day down the road that will be the case. We'll have to, these will have to be considered as well. But moving forward in the future, do we need to move away from private well systems and basically get into the well business ourselves, in a sense, in an effort to expand the water treatment, or not the water treatment, but the water systems that we have for Lancaster County. If we eventually got to take a motor and accept that responsibility and spend you know, a million and a half dollars to upgrade that system, then wouldn't it make better sense to have ownership of the system to start with when the subdivision is put in there. You're able to capture that revenue and that revenue stream as the life of that system goes on and then you're building uh, some revenue there so that when that system does have to have major repairs and major upgrades, you then have a revenue source to do it rather than going out there and spending a million and a half that you had to plan to spend on a wastewater treatment plant that, as we all know, water treatment plant that we know based on the customers that we have out there, we will likely will never see a return on investment. <coughs> makes sense. I mean, I just want to, I just think it just makes better sense for us to begin to take, at least take a look at it and see what the feasibility of it, if there's any interest in going down that road. Uh, One of the comments is that if you see down at the southwest corner, 63, 64, uh, that's country states east and country states west. Uh, if you remember back to the paving list, those were two of the subdivisions that are on the paving list. Guess where these pipes, guess where these water lines are? They're right down in the middle of the dirt. And they're maybe a foot deep. So, uh, so whenever country states east and west, uh, something's got to be done with water lines. And these water lines that were in that ground today do not meet camp standards. There are two, three, four inch water lines. They provide, you know, they don't provide the fire flow. If we, you know, if we had water out there, we couldn't provide fire flow for this uh, in those, in those water lines. Yeah. So 
So most all of these systems already is there, or some of them, and that'd be a good number to look at to see which one of the systems are, are currently six the ordinances were put in place that they had to be built to county standard versus the ones that's in the old standard. As you say, you wouldn't have fire flow and the, and the safety issues that you would need for that area anyway. Uh, but we could take over, end up being taken over the system that we wouldn't be able to utilize for fire because we can't supply a hydro or or you know, water for a truck. Mr. Chairman, we're actually working on that already. Okay. <clears throat> this has been something that's concerning because I've heard questions from a lot of some people at Mike talk to and <clears throat> I also live on one of these private water systems. So in doing some research not so long ago we found a, a bunch of those trust <coughs> especially during the early mid nineties. So right now my staff is going through all of our old minute books as in fact as we check these off this list to find out exactly when those trust adventures were put in if there were one um, and what the requirements were at that time. Okay. So we'll have that list for you yes. shortly. We were asked a number of years ago, Michelle, to bring uh, one commission rather than expanding our system and putting the new lines, why don't we look at using our SPLOS dollars to purchase some of these existing systems? Well, that proved to be problematic because we used to go to the system owner and the value of that system was based on its income flow. We were looking at it from the hard cost of the fact that we had two weeks what we would have to spend to bring that system up to current standards. Well, there was a huge discrepancy between what we thought we should pay and what he or she said this is the value of it. So uh, they'll, until those systems reach a point like the lap all system, we could have said to rather than spend that two million dollars on that MIAC system, you're on your own. The best thing y'all can do is put in your own well and your own set. Problem was their lots were not sufficient in size to, to put in okay. They would have to have some some arrangement to work out. Uh, I'll put my well over here and we'll put the septic tank over there. You know, that just does not work. So it's, it's not as easy a task as it might appear to be. So these water systems that have been installed, have no, there was no regulation by the county on how they could put in. They weren't built to any stand. I mean, in my mind, I think going forward, whatever we decide to open-minded about this, but, but if we go forward, we, can we at least say, here's a standard we want to abide by, and here's a, almost like, here's a connection on the, on the front side of the system, so if the county ever gets water and sewer in that area, or gets water to that area, and that system has to be abandoned, you tie it in. We do that now, and I think right. that it started in the, the mid-90s. That's the reason I was saying, find that separation of where we currently yeah. have a system have systems in place right. that, need, that, that will handle the needs versus the ones that's got a, some age on to the point to where as you talk about um, uh, Creekside, not Creekside, there's country, 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 country states east and west, where you've got basically a, a system that will never be able to meet the county requirements because of just the piping of set right. And some of them developed before you had the utility system. Some of them so so the 60s. And, and these, you know, country states east and west, they're developing on the dirt road. We even had any road, road standards. I mean, we, had, we haven't allowed the dirt roads to be built in the county in 20 years. Uh, and, you know, and these systems, you know, they go back. And, you know, I was like Paige and I were just looking at each other about 94, 95. This is when everything since then is two county standards. Uh, I mean, I would, I would venture to say probably. 50% on here is probably at county standards uh, already. It seems to me that we're, we're somewhat of a, I guess, an unofficial insurance 
policy for the against the developer. Oh, your notification was fake, right? That's what you all do. So I'm wondering is it possible that we could make a, a certain requirement that they have a, a certain percent of insurance or, or, or something that we can have on our end that, that they're contributing to that would provide the insurance? Uh, uh, alternative insurance yeah. on, on their behalf because that's really what we're doing. Uh, we're assuming all the risk. Well, I, I don't know if there's anything that would be available, but it's worth looking into as something that you might want to do on, on some of these existing systems. Mm -hmm. you know, there's 66 systems here right now that eventually, someday, is going to become a problem of the campus. Somewhere down the road. Adjustments to one large subdivision in Lowndes County that will remain nameless for me. Um, there was probably outcry for months and it was a big old mess. So, um, the oh, so water, water quality, we went to a flat rate for months and months and months. I can't remember the exact amount of And then when we changed it, after we put the well, Thank you. 